What's up, you guys? So I hope everybody had a Merry Christmas and you're on your way to having a Happy New Year. It's time for me to get back into the tea with the Real Housewives of Potomac because tea has been spilling that the contracts, the contracts for next season, season six of Real Housewives of Potomac have gone out. And there's been tea that some got contracts and some have not. Now, I did cover this in a video with Bondi Blue a few weeks ago, and there's a link to that video in the top right hand corner of this video where I said that Andy made a statement that he thinks the RHOP cast is perfect, quote unquote perfect, as it is now. But there was tea spilled by media takeout that Wendy Ocefo, Wendy Ocefo did not receive a contract for the next season of The Real Housewives of Atlanta. And so Wendy has since responded to that. So we're gonna get into what was said in Wendy's response, as well as some other information about the next season of Real Housewives of Potomac. So NTL News reported that it learned that it appears, okay, y'all gotta read between the lines, that it appears that Bravo has decided to invite back all of the housewives except one, Dr. Wendy Ocefo. For now, it appears that Bravo fired Dr. Wendy on Christmas. And they say MTL News spoke with people close to all of the other housewives and it's confirmed everyone is coming back, including Candace and Monique. And so Wendy Ocefo, once the blogs got a hold of that tea, Wendy Ocefo took to her Instagram stories. Just a few hours ago, she took to her Instagram stories and debunked that tea. And she posted, imagine citing media takeout as a verifiable source. Men lie, women lie, contracts don't. And the thing about media takeout is most people know by now that it's satire. <laughs> Media takeout is like celebrity news satire and that's why you see half the stories are true and half the stories are false because they're doing satire. <laughs> and so that's why she said imagine citing media takeout as a verifiable source. So I think most people know what it is, but the important thing to take away from what Wendy posted in her stories it's her saying men lie, women lie, but contracts don't. So that means she did get a contract. We don't know if it was for a full housewife. We don't know if it was for a friend of the show. We don't know what her contract said, but we know she did get a contract. So she wasn't quote unquote fired. Some people thought that because Monique fought on the show that she wouldn't be receiving a contract. And so Love B. Scott reports, despite rumors, Monique Samuels took to social media to confirm that she was indeed given the opportunity to return. Monique was asked, this was in a live stream. She was asked, there are rumors about you being fired. Are you allowed to talk about that? My understanding is that contracts have not been sent out yet. If you gone, I am gone. So this is what one of her fans said to her. A Monique responded to the fan, quote, contracts have been sent out and that rumor is not true. And so the rumor was that she was fired and she said that rumor is not true. So she received a contract as well, which, like I said, I already told you guys, like the cast is coming back from what I've heard, the full cast. Now, Monique has been promoting her her single Drag Queens. And it's interesting that she says that the Drag queen song is not about Candace. It just happens to be titled Drag Queens and she dragged somebody. But if you look on her Instagram, she's promoting the song using Candace. We all about it. Leave my filter on because it's going to be on the blog. So I look cute. Okay, this is new information. Monique claims y'all plotted against her at Andy's baby shower. So there was a conversation about Monique at, not at the shower, but after the shower, we were eating somewhere. And there were several, not, there were a couple of people there with me, several people there with me. And there was a conversation about someone plotting to spread a rumor that Chase was not Chris's baby. That conversation happened. I was there for it. I never contributed to the plotation of the conversation, ever. As a matter of fact, I said that that would never fly and 
it should be dropped. I know that I also said that Monique talks a lot and Robin said to me, Robin was there, Robin said to me, um, oh, you talking about your friend? I was like, yes, but we are, she's not here to defend herself. So let's not talk about her. And there were other things said, other kind of plotty things that were said. And I, wanna, I also want to say that I told Monique what was said at that dinner. But I was never a part of any plot there or anywhere else. You can, you can hit me with any other scenarios and I will tell you what happened. I was never a part of any plot to plot against Monique. Like, it's just the narcissist. Why do you think everybody's trying to plot against you? You are not that important. You don't matter that much. You don't. It's just... The arrogance of it all. Yes, a parasite. That is the right word. Oh, yeah. That was going to be the rumor. Sky 1000, the rumor. Let me get my filter on. It's going to be on the blog. The rumor was going to be that it wasn't Chris's baby. It was a trainer's baby. That was what was, that was what somebody was going to try and make the rumor out to be. And I said, that baby just like Chris. That Chris Samuel spat that baby out. There's no way that no, anyone is going to believe that this is not Chris's baby. And I think that's why it never ended up coming out, why this person never started that rumor, because... Okay, so that's what Monique Samuels posted on her Instagram, and she put in the caption, but they say there was no plot. And then she quoted the Bible, y'all. She said, sit at my right hand until I make your enemies your footstool. Funny how they snitch on themselves. Subconsciously, they're hashtag team Monique. And then she put, download my new single, Drag Queens, official video release 12 20 on my Tea with Monique YouTube channel at 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's tonight. And then she said, video taken from Post-It. She calls Candace Post-It's live feed. And this was Candace on live a few months ago. And so she is using Candace to pr promote her song, Drag Queen. She said the song is not about her, but she's using her to promote it. Because you see right here, clearly in the caption, she says, download my new single, Drag Queens, with the video of Candace. And then she goes on to call Candace by her nickname, Post-It. Now, you guys, if you drop down below my video, you will see my self-care affirmations. You don't have to use Post-It notes and stick them all around your house, especially when people are watching. You can have self-care affirmations on your phone, which I have shared with you guys. These are available for a limited time. Teespring has actually reached out to me. Teespring reached out to me and asked me to create another set of self-care products. So this set is going to go away soon because I'm going to be creating another set of self-care products products for you guys. So if you're interested in self-care and, and self-affirmations, which is what Candace was trying to do with her post-it notes, but they were very, you know, public. She was filming, showing her post-it notes. If you want to privately do affirmations, one way to do them is on your phone. Now, a few weeks ago on a podcast, and I'll put a link to the full podcast below, on a podcast, Candace talked about whether she would film another season with Monique Samuels. And she said, quote, no, I am not taping another season with her. I will not be doing that. Everyone knows that. That has been made clear. I will never film another season of any show with someone who can't do what she did, who can do what she did and then conduct themselves in the aftermath of what she did the way she did. And she means, you know, making a song about dragging somebody. And so she said that in a podcast interview, Reality Life with Kate Casey podcast, and this was around August. A lot of people are getting confused and saying that she said this recently. She actually said in August that she would not film another season with Monique. But more recently, she said on the Behind the Velvet Rope podcast with David Yontef at the 36.48 mark, she says, quote, 
For my mental health, I will not film with her. I will not work with her. This is still a job at the end of the day. I'm not working with her, and that's not an ultimatum. That's nothing but my truth. So it's not an ultimatum. So she kind of backed down from saying that she wouldn't do another season with Monique, and now what she's saying is that she won't do episodes with Monique, like she won't do scenes with Monique. So it looks like, like Andy said, the cast, the full cast is coming back. The full cast is perfect. It's just that Monique and Candace will not be filming together. And one of the reasons I think that Candace is not leaving the show because of Monique, she's just saying she doesn't want to film with Monique. But one of the reasons she's not leaving the show completely is because the Real Housewives of Potomac is starting to soar. Like the ratings for that show are starting to soar past the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Imagine that. If you look at the ratings, this is last week's ratings for the Real Housewives of Atlanta and the Real Housewives of Potomac. And you see among cable ratings, you see Real Housewives of Potomac was at number two. Number three is Hallmark. And then number four, you see Real Housewives of Atlanta. So last week, Potomac was beating Atlanta. And so Potomac ratings are really starting to soar. So this would be a bad time for Candace to leave Real Housewives of Potomac because the show is really just starting to take off. So you guys leave a comment and let me know what you think about Wendy O'Seffel saying that she did get a contract for next season. Are you excited to see her return to the show? And what do you think about Candace and Monique both returning? Leave a comment and let me know what you think. And as always, thanks for watching.